Good morning. So, um, as we left it uh, last last week, in this case, uh, last time, <clears throat> I was writing tests for my API server, um, and I got to a point where um, I had a problem with one test that was failing uh, when I didn't expect it to. So, and I tested the code itself in the, U in the UI, web browser, and it worked as expected. So there's probably something wrong in the test itself. Um, so we'll have a quick look to see if I'm doing something weird there. Um, let's have a look. So, this is what we changed in the actual API server in the login. Um, if there's an error, if it's an SQL error, I just want to say could not find the user, basically. Um, otherwise, we return the error, which is what we're actually seeing in the API test. Uh, we're getting a 500 error instead of the 200 we expect. And we expect a 200 with a message. So here we are calling the service with a user that doesn't exist. Uh, we're expecting an OK back, but with a message saying, hey, we could not find you. Authentication error. Um, and here we are doing will return error from this select um, and that's the query here select ID password for members where and then the email address and then we are doing a format error F Okay, that was my original way of doing an error. But we've since then started using error no rows in the API after a little bit of shenanigans with using the, the wrong version of that. So maybe, maybe I just need to set that to what I actually expected to throw. It could be that easy. We will see. Uh, SQL, uh, no rows. That would make sense. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> uh, it was that easy. Okay, fine. <laughs> right, okay, well, that's good. Uh, so we now have um, two types of tests for the login now. We have just happy path login where we uh, pretend we have this user with a user ID and this hashed password. Um, we then Pretend the SQL select works as expected and returns that um, that row up there based on the user ID. Um, and then we create um, a tokens record for that user uh, and return all the right stuff. So yeah, and then we do. Yeah, and then we have a test of failure. So we have, I think, what's that one? That one I think is, which one's that one? I should actually, yeah, okay, invalid password. So there we're passing in the wrong password. And here 
you were passing in the wrong email. Okay. Boing. Right, let's quickly uh, commit that before we move on to the next set of tests. Okay. What's next on the list then? So we have login and we know we can fake we can fake a good login. So we can probably move on and test some of the other bits. Um, let's test. Should we test add goal or get goals next? Let's test. Let's test add goal, I think. Oh, actually, one thing I did want to do was in my login API at the moment, um, when it creates the token, it's not doing it within a transaction, uh, which is not so good because if there was something to happen whereby um, we potentially do the it's, I mean it's quite unlikely but there is a very slim chance that um, you for whatever reason have a problem um, creating that record um, or rather it creates it but for whatever reason we don't get the response and therefore we throw an error um, but we do actually have a record there. Um, in the future, that's not going to be such a big deal because I tend to, I write code that cleans up the tokens. Although I don't think I have that yet, but I will do. So I just want to wrap, wrap that in a, in a transaction. So let's let's pretend. Uh, well, let's just do let's do uh, red red green testing for this. Let's um, let's see if we can get that that kind of way of working doing its thing. So this is happy path testing, and we want to change it a little bit. So here we have. We expect to have we do a query and then I will want to have a transaction start. So I presume, what do I do there? I've forgotten. Have I, got, I haven't got any transaction stuff yet. Okay. First time I've done transactions here, I think. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, let's guess. I reckon it'll be mock, expect, begin. Okay. And then we'll have mock 
expect commit. That looks okay. Let's go for that and see what that does. So it should fail now. Yep. Uh, delay there. That's quite a lot of data. Expect begin, expecting database transaction begin 500. Okay. What does it look like in a cleaner test? Same. <laughs> okay. So the call to exec query with args, blah, blah, blah. Name, blah, blah, blah. Was not expected. Next expectation is, okay. Yep. Okay. So in my login, I want this create token to be wrapped in a transaction. Okay. Uh, no, I want config db begin if it fails. Oh, but does that say what's that? Is that just uh, unused? Yeah, I might have to change the coloring of that because it's uh, I'd rather it was less error and rather hey improvement here. All right, so tx dot oh, see, it's not even completing. Why is that? Do. Okay. Let's see what that does in a sec. How does that assign stuff? Oh, unresolved reference TX. Oh, okay. That's right. Yeah, I really don't care, but let's do it. Why do you give me an error on that? Yeah. Okay. And I guess I need to do the same again for commit. Is that the format I was doing, doing before? I did, I think. Yeah. Do the transaction, throw away, and do, yeah, okay.
Now, create token needs a transaction. On my last use of um, transaction, I just passed it as a normal parameter. But I wonder whether I should pass it in as a sort of interface type thing instead. Let's um, let's experiment with that because that, that might kind of feels like it might be a better way of doing things. So instead, pass in tx SQL. tx. Oh, that's in the wrong place, isn't it? I can't remember how you do that. No, that's right. That's not right. Interesting. Since when? Well, that makes no sense. Why is it complaining about that? That's perfectly valid as far as I can tell. Hmm. Maybe it's part of the plugin updates I got. Do you? Uh, we'll see what happens. Let's see if it compiles in a minute. Okay. So here we need to start using that instead. So should be able to just swap that out for TX. Although it's going to complain because it doesn't know what that is. Even though we do know what that is. Hmm. doing all kinds of nuts things. So 
something is not happy. I've done something weird, haven't I? Is it this? Is it because I've done that? Oh, because I'm trying to use it as a type. It's an interface. So if I take that out, I bet it all comes back further down. Right, okay. Yeah, so I can't do what I thought. It's not as... Uh, I keep forgetting this is not... It's not object orientated, is it really? In the traditional sense. Okay. Let's just do plain stuff for the moment then. Uh, don't do that. Do that. Okay. Fine. Yeah, okay. So that passes. Should I make it work though? Should I give it a quick test? All right, compiles. Okay. Let's see if this works now then. So in theory, if I put if I put some weird stuff in here, so hello at me.com and junk. It should come back with not found. Could not find a member. And then if I change this up to what we think is in there, it works. That's good. Okay. Everything else is working as well. Fresh goals. Fresh. Good stuff. Okay. Happy days. I do wonder if there's a way to switch that up so that instead I do uh, transaction dot create token, but I don't know, maybe that's not right. Now that I actually say it out loud. Okay. I'm good there, so commit that up.
Mm -hmm. Why is it taking forever to push? Just check that, see what's going on there. All right. Oh yeah, I need to check this snap stuff. I'll be interested to see if this build actually works. Um, a couple of videos ago, Snapcraft updated um, and they had a problem with, um, not Snapcraft, Charmcraft updated. Um, which is what I use to build the Juju charm that deploys. Um, and I had a little problem with their snap version. I hadn't quite built it right. Um, but uh, someone else reported it and I, I added my info as well. Um, and within a couple of hours, it was all fixed up. They rebuilt the charm, um, snap craft. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see if that actually passes this time. Uh, maybe I can actually just do a quick test here, just to round that out. Um, so what have I got at the moment? Probably still got the old one. I know they've released a new one as well. Charm Craft C version. That is upgrade updated. That's interesting. Did I force that at some point? Asks, yeah. And I think, I think I can change that to stable now. I've updated it. So snap visit info. Yeah, okay. Let's do that. Uh, snap. Um, refresh. Charmcraft. Uh, let's put the right spell in there. Charmcraft. Can I just do stable? Let's see what happens there. Hello. Okay, what's that done then? Yay, good, cool. Okay, let's switch to <clears throat> a stable version of Charmcraft. No, it's a 1.0. Um, I mean, we already used that then, apparently, so jobs are good. And I wonder if that will just uh, do its thing. Seems to be progressing. Now oh, it's queued. Huh. Should have realized. Fine. Okay. Right. Um, well, I'm probably not going to get cracking onto anything else just now. So uh, I will probably say goodbye to just now and then go off and update GoLand. I seem to have some things to update and I think go to work. So until next time, take care.